Hi, Lou. Some new documents related to the search were made public, including one showing possible offenses the government is investigating, including willful retention of national defense information and obstruction of a federal investigation. But we aren't getting a look at the highly sought after probable cause affidavit. Although in a surprise move, the judge said he is planning to unseal portions of that document. This is a proceeding that's about the, the credibility of all the players. A coalition of media organizations in a South Florida courtroom arguing for the unsealing of a highly sensitive affidavit used to justify the search warrant served last week at former President Trump's Florida estate. We are entitled to monitor the affairs of our government at all levels. And the judge setting in motion the affidavit's possible redacted release, ordering the Justice Department to come back to the court with what specifically it wants withheld. The DOJ argues releasing the document would compromise the probe. This is information that is typically revealed, if at all, at trial, not in the investigatory stage. The DOJ stating in part, if disclosed, the document would serve as a roadmap to the government's ongoing investigation. In court, also revealing this. It has the, um, a number of confidential informants and witnesses whose uh, on, ongoing participation may be jeopardized by the disclosure. Media groups arguing the search of Mar-a-Lago is one of the nation's most significant law enforcement events in history, calling for transparency into the process in the public interest. They're saying that the former president has said this is a political witch hunt. There's no there there. This is not legitimate. And this is an issue that brings up conduct of current and former government officials. The judge did unseal some new documents relating to the warrant. Meantime, in New York. The, the, the district attorney said at the end, Mr. Giuliani has satisfied his obligation under the subpoena. So I was very happy that I satisfied my obligation. Rudy Giuliani, lawyer for then President Trump, arriving home after spending hours before a grand jury in Georgia that's investigating possible illegal attempts by Trump and others to influence the 2020 election there. And former CFO of the Trump Organization, Alan Weisselberg, pleading guilty to helping the business engineer a 15-year tax fraud scheme, agreeing to testify against Trump's real estate company at trial. And the Trump Organization has pleaded not guilty in that case. Now, as for the search warrant affidavit, the judge ordered the DOJ to come back next Thursday with redactions, though no date was given for the document's possible release. That's the latest live in the newsroom. I'll send it back to you.